Today, we're going to try to take our simple gold farm that we made last episode and make it much, much better. But to do that, we're going to need some turtle eggs and we're going to need some tridents. So let's see if we can get those put together so that way we can really start moving forward. You can see that we have a good part of the spawning sphere. I should actually make it bigger, but I don't have the blocks for that. So we're going to finish off those upper three layers and then we're going to go a layer above it. So I finished off all of the uh, top layers. I added one layer above it. I don't have the trap doors right now to do all of the layers, but it does seem to be a lot more consistent. The zombie pigment are coming down. I know that there is a issue. See, these trenches are a problem. So we gotta get more lava and then I will finish that up. I, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna grab some uh, wood and I'm gonna grab some lava and we'll see how far we can get. Well. It's not fast at moving pigment, but the lava flow is set up correctly. So now this is working as I originally intended. The pigment do all end up in the middle. They're really slow to move, but that's just part of the uh, use of lava. Eventually I will swap that out to be pigment egg aggro, which will be much faster, but I need to get some eggs first. But now we got some uh, pigmen coming in we can actually get some experience and we can actually get some gold so we can barter some more so we can actually get some more resources but after we finish after we finish this i think the next stage is to add a trident killer because looting is huge for zombie pigmen sword drops and sword drops are about a third of all of the gold you're going to get out of a pigmen farm just being completely honest so we need to be able to get swords and process the swords well we got a stack of gold and it took probably i don't know 20 or so minutes to get a stack of gold which means that this is definitely not a fast farm but it works and i don't know we'll decorate it up we'll probably just leave it like that maybe put a trident killer on it for now and call it a day it's never gonna be fast but at least we have a a, a source of gold Okay, we're off to bartering and it's been a good start. We get quartz, which is honestly about as good as I can hope for because I'm looking for quartz for sorters and I need a bunch of quartz. So we got eight. I could really use, oh, there's 12 more. Netherrack's not bad either. Um, we can then start on a warped and crimson fungus farm. Gravel's not bad. And we got a soul speed three. So we're at 30 quartz. That's quite a few comparators, but we're gonna keep bartering. We're gonna barter the soul stack away. We're gonna go over to Seabone's place because Seabone's has that one cleric. And we might end up grabbing as much redstone as we can, which is 24, and keep going that way. Seabone's has a lot more people that buy iron than I do. So we're gonna grab some emeralds while we're here. I already bought out the cleric of redstone. Now we've got 24 redstone to our name and at some point he should reset. For now we're just waiting for some more redstone so we can put together an item sorter. So with the stack of redstone we could make item sorters. Now yeah, we get a little bit more in the stack. We could make item sorters uh we can make a trident killer we just need a couple more pistons uh but we don't have a trident let's go get a trident i think so the way we're gonna get a trident is by going to the uh, village that we saw earlier we know that there's a beach and we know there's an ocean so we're gonna take some ice we're gonna take a stack of ice with us because that will make water we're gonna take a bunch of cobblestone and at some point soon, I'm going to have to run the cobblestone generator. So we got ice, we got cobblestone, we're going to bring some wood. So today what we're looking for is turtle eggs and or tridents. So turtle eggs we get by uh, finding a beach, letting turtles spawn as passive mobs, then breeding them up with seagrass. So we need the seagrass we got to get from bone mealing solid blocks at the bottom of under, er, underneath water and the turtle spawn has got to be on a beach i am pretty confident that those chests only spawn at the beaches or near beaches we know that there was a house there so we can 
use that house as where we know land is at and we can kind of branch out and build a platform to put some sand on so that way we can figure out where a beach would be all we need to do is get two turtles after we get two turtles we can get some turtle eggs and then we just got to set up a turtle breeding area and we can get as many turtles as we want wherever we want okay so we know that the village is over there we're probably in the ocean here we can set up our drown farm here but so let's go make a drown farm that we can actually you know try to get both the uh, drown and the turtles at the same time when we're not in the nether we definitely have to put fences on the top slabs because there are surface spawn hostiles in the uh, overworld and uh, we don't want to get shot off by a skeleton or something like that. The nether, I got so used to just not building the fences that I m hopefully don't forget and hopefully don't cause myself to fall into the void. So I'm going to build this out. You've seen enough path building. The goal is to get over to the chest over there. I believe it is over there. I am going very slowly and cautiously just because I don't want to end up in the void. That guy can end up in the void though. That's where the chest was. That was a buried treasure. Okay, now we're going to put some sand down. Actually, we're going to make a crafting table. We're going to make a furnace. We're going to burn a log. Two of them just burn it with these doors. We'll start putting the sand down. Goal here is to just get coverage in area. I don't have a ton of sand so the way that we're going to do that is by placing them one block apart on a grid and we're going to look for if a turtle spawns where does it spawn. And the reason that we burned those logs is clearly so we can get some torches. And we're going to place the torch here and then we'll build out. I'm pretty confident that the beach is in the area we've already covered, but we'll see. Wherever we can get turtles to spawn, that's where we're going to focus. We're going to light this up so that way there's a higher chance that turtles can spawn and also so that no monsters spawn. Now we've got to go 24 blocks away. Now we're 24 blocks away. I've got some more slabs and I got a crafting table on me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building our drown farm. And the reason that we're building the drown farm here is if we see a turtle spawn from here, we can walk back over there. We can start farming the turtles and then we can also wait for drown to spawn here. We're trying to stay relatively close so that the turtles don't stop spawning if they were to spawn. And we'll put a torch down so that way if we do decide to get excited and run away, we don't end up with a platform full of skeletons. Oh, there is a turtle that spawned. He fell off his sand, but I think he spawned there. Let's get this area drowned spawn possible, and then we can focus on the turtles. Okay, before we put the water in, we're going to do this, which is going to be a three by three platform that we can stand on and not get knocked off by the drown. Well, this is going to be how we flood the pool here. We just place some ice down and then break, break. Now we got to do the top layer. So now we've got a drowned pool and we're going to go down about halfway between the drown farm and the turtle farm. We're going to just put a pillar up probably about 20 blocks and then watch both of them from there. Now we got to make the platform a little bit safer down here. OK, we got a couple of turtle eggs. Um, I don't know if I was recording during that time, but if I wasn't, we were able to confirm that that was a beach. We weren't able to get any drown to spawn, so I'm thinking that that may not have been an ocean there, just maybe have been a beach, like they sometimes have micro pockets of beach. But now we got turtle eggs, we're going to go back to the base and see if we can get some turtle breeding going. Now, that being said, I think this is an ocean here, but I'm out of cobblestone, so if we're going to do something, I think we're going to build 
around this portal for the drown farm. We'll build out the opposite direction. So I took the turtle eggs that I had got over at the beach and I brought them over here and I let them hatch. And then I uh, bone mealed some seagrass up and then I fed the sea turtles. And then, you know, you could pick the eggs up with silk touch. And I just did that for about 20 minutes or a half hour or so. And we got a stack of turtle eggs. So now what we really need is a trident. We're going to go back to the village over there. And after we go to the village, we're going to try to set up a we're going to set, try to set up a drown pool and then uh, maybe get some drown. We're not going to go all the way to the village. We're going to go to the then we're going to set up the drown pool about 24 blocks away from the portal. And that should get us the ability to get some tridents. I have a shield on me. I have my bow on me, I have my looting sword. So that should be pretty straightforward once we get some spawns. So that is definitely an ocean um, that way. So we're just going to break in here and go out that way. OK, now we're going to go over here and wait because we get a few minutes of night left. See if anything spawns. As soon as the sun comes up, we'll go build our safe spot. And then we'll see if there's anything in there that counts as suns up. Yes, there are drown. Mumbai's got to try it, though. So we're going to build out. All right. So now I'm not going to bother to hop in there. Just going to shoot them. So let's go back to the portal and see if we can get some more spawns. And I might build a crow's nest here. Need more ladders. I can shoot things and hope that I get a drown, but it's not going to happen until nighttime. OK, I think it's getting dark now and I'm going to run back up to my crow's nest and see if there's drown spawning. Yes, there are. I don't see any tridents, but let's go. Let's go kill these guys with looting because eventually I would like to get a spyglass and that means copper. Uh, if I just there's a trident in there, so let's get a shield on. There's a trident. So that's one. Let's try to get a couple more just because we're here and it's just the beginning of night. So nothing to speak of there. This is like tag. You go through and you, you, you touch the wall and then you run back and then there's drown. So we're going to run over here. Should be enough time to spawn some drown. One of them has a uh, trident. Oh, there's another drown with a trident. Let's see if we can get that one. Okay, we'll go back to our watchtower. There's a couple of drown. So far we've gotten two tridents and four for copper, which is pretty good. Well, now that we have the tridents and the turtle eggs, next time we can start making that farm actually AFKable. Because right now with the hack and slash, it's enough for a couple pieces of quartz or a couple of things here and there, but you can't AFK it. If I can't AFK it, it's not going to produce much material. If it doesn't produce much material, then we really can't move forward very fast. So let's see you next time. And if you enjoyed this video, let's um, let's talk about the tuning forks in the comments and let me know what, uh, that you made it all the way to the end of the video. Anyway, this is Hatter and I'm out. Bye.